Hey, my name is Austin. Austin. And my name is Luke. Luke. We're, We're doing, doing this thing called Good Game, game time, time, and we hope you enjoy it. Let's go, go. Oh, what's up, dude? Welcome to the last. My name is Luke. Hi. Hi, Luke. And my oh. name is freaking Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that was a little too much. Anyways, we're playing out last no shit. <laughs> yes. No shit. Yes. Okay. Yeah, just start the new game. Fuck. Fine. Jesus. You know what happened last time we played a scary game? The last time we played a scary game, you shit your pants. That's not true. See, he's saying that, but we still have his pants out to dry. <laughs> Don't tell people that. That's it's not slander to know. True. <laughs> Shut up. It's, it's not true. See, the thing it's is, not. he's stuttering. It, yeah? Yeah. Fine, then. There, I, sh- I shat myself when I screamed gloriously. Y- you know when, if you watched it. Here we have Outlast. Oh, we're in a car, driving. Like. Deja vu. <laughs> I've been in this place before. Deja vu. I heard on the beat, and I know it's my time to go. You know, I think this this kind of reminds me of the drive. Wait, 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 wait. no. So you know Nanny McPhee. Yes. This reminds me of the house from Nanny McPhee. This oddly enough reminds me of my family home, back in Quebec. That's um, an insane asylum. <laughs> explains a lot doesn't it <laughs> you know i don't actually think you have a family home now in <laughs> quebec as so much as all of you have a mental instability hey don't judge us we're um judge special judge you are very special ryan yes a very special boy of a very special family. Classified inf- Why does a journalist have classified information? Who the fuck knows? Maybe he's- Illegal activity at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me. I have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Facility in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs I'm very much breaking right now but seriously fuck those guys terrible things happening there don't understand it don't believe half the things i saw doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain people are being hurt and murkoff is making money it needs to be exposed kinky so it's like russian exple- sleep experiment no that's that wasn't that bad <laughs> you'd not you, do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. Okay. It's not that bad. Okay, Luke. I love how he has the press official thing, like, thinking, oh, I can oh, just yeah. walk into an insane asylum. Yeah, I know. It's totally... Especially one that apparently has, like, serious bullshit going on. I mean, look, that is not a... Why, why would you build a gothic insane asylum? That just makes you think of, oh, God. Why? Everyone here is do whatever be- the fuck you want. Okay. When you Actually, think about it. Oh look, there's if you have some boy who's typing on his computer all day. Wait, wait, what does he have? Does he have like uh look at his computer. Fine. Look at his computer. What does he got? Uh, no, crutch down look at the computer, not the monitor. Do you know the difference between a monitor and a computer? Yes, I was wondering if you were talking about the OS or the actual computer itself. The OS is not a computer! Yes, but your intelligence is to be questioned. You're the one who looked at the monitor! (laughs) Shh. Just get on with the game! Okay. Go! Okay. Go! Get up! Up! (laughs) God damn! Uh, this entertains me. It entertains you. To freak you out? I'm not freaking out. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum. Shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1979. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer 
then lost signal. The Murkoff Co Corporation has long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks these bastards. Oh, how nice. He's... I love oh, how it's a person on there. one side. Hi, random person. I will name him Greg. Oh, There's one. lights up on the top as well. Is there? Is there anyone up there? No. Ah, no. No. I brought this camera up, and now, now I, I forget like how to... I like just how there's all these vehicles outside from the government, but, you know, they're just all abandoned. And no one bothered to check up on them. I know, right? That That is actually kind of odd. Okay, of course, you can't go into the front door. Nothing can be easy. So let's look for random things to just, you know, get around. Over okay. here, this looks good. So, you know... Why Why is a journalist getting into the business of trying to break corporations that probably have billions of dollars and can ruin his life? Very fair point, when he can make so much more money by making them look good. I guess it's that, like, general protagonist thing. Oh, I must make everything better. I yeah. must do it even though my life will be ruined. It's It's a noble, noble thing, don't get me wrong, but, you know... It's not really no. uh, all too realistic. Journalist integrity? Yeah. <laughs> Especially how journalism is today. Corporations are like, oh, man, I don't hey. want to get into that in a month. Yeah, let's not. Because that's, that's a big... You know, how did this guy get so fucking good at parkour? It's almost like he's done this before. He probably has. Like, this is how he broke into <clears throat> Wendy's to get his paycheck a day early. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> that actually makes a lot more sense. Then he's a creep. Uh, very dark. Very nice, actually. Oh, who needs to use a camera? Ah. Oh, look. It's ruined. Isn't this a place supposed to be open still? No, it's not. I thought the Murkoff's people owned it. I mean, it's still getting power somehow. Yeah, I don't think the government really uh, cares all too much. A power company would. Who the fuck? I mean, if they're going to shut if off... the government's... Oh, no, the Murkoff Corporation is paying for it, so I don't really think they care. Same computer. I mean, look, like... Blood. Do you really want to be the person to go in and shut the power off? Nah, especially seeing this. Yeah, you're the, they tell you, the guy who has to turn the power off, and you come in. Look, a folder. And you see all this shit. Yeah, I'd say. Blood I'm on the, the floor. I just get up, walk back out, get in my car, drive off. And call the police. <laughs> my God, why doesn't he fucking call the police at once? He's He has seen blood all over the place. There is Patient just, claims to have yeah. progressed to self-directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage four hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spite geometry revealed no bronchial bronchial accumulation. Okay, never mind. It's just a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Oh, Billy yeah. asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against the Murkoff <laughs> in the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security. Despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger, note the only Traeger on copy records, one Richard Traeger is an ex executive from M or D. All order lies in security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. That is some hardcore security there. It's like... What the fuck? So, Billy... Watch out, there's blood footprints, yep. Mm. Hey, give me... Hey, let me in there. Stop having your period all over the floor. It's gross. Hey, look. Meat. I thought that was shrimp. Nope, that's meat. Get into the vent ventilation system. It's a very bloody vent. Why is everything covered in blood? Why the fuck is this guy still going into the very bloody, blood-covered place? He's a journalist! He's gotta get the latest scoop! Pretty sure he already did by seeing the massive amounts of blood everywhere. 
I think this this would be plenty enough to say what the fuck's going on here. But nope, gotta go for. Don't you get thrown out here? Uh, not yet. Hey, Billy. Oh, that's not Billy. I remember watching you get thrown out from the trailer. Yeah. Oh, this is hot. Headless bodies hanging from the ceiling. Yeah. But that's your kink, Luke. I I love, I love this man. You know, just. Just all of this. Holy shit. How, How is he still alive? Fuck? Yeah. That's going through his lungs, his heart. I mean, Christ, man. I like how the heads are all just on the fucking... It's going right up his ass. That's pretty hot. I know, it's what you do to, you know, everyone you know, pretty much. What? You fucking skewer people. I don't skewer people. What do you mean? So you, what do you skewer that, skewer? What do you skewer that? Pork? Good. Now you get thrown, right? Uh, almost there. And sh- spoilers. Hey, look, a bathroom. Let's go into the every single, hey, actually, I didn't realize I can go in here. Broken mirror. Ooh, is the mirror test working in this? Nope. Because that's broken. What's in the toilet? A hand. I mean, you want one? Ah, Maybe it can give you a hand. Shame on you. (laughs) Just really? Really, Luke? Just keep going. You know better than that. You you know better. And then this is where you get thrown, right? Yes. Hey, little pig. Ooh, you have sexy face. He looks pretty hot. He is. <coughs> mm. Sorry for the cough. Ooh, look. Oh, you're so polite. Replying. Oh. I will stab you in your kidneys. Who is this boy? Oh, probably a cultist. I mean, we are He's in a He's not a cultist. Asylum. This is an insane asylum. He's probably like one of the caretakers. No, he has a cross on his chest. He's a cultist. Nah, it's just tape. A cross made out of tape on his chest. Yes. You know, they're sticking him to the walls with duct tape. Pardon? Sticking him to the wall with duct tape. Oh, so what the fuck did this to this guy? Did I just put my hand... Yes, I did. (laughs) Feels good warm it kind of looks like soggy fries you're not wrong and his head's gone too well then that's uh very tasty i recommend um hmm would go good with human innards i i don't <laughs> <laughs> nice Ryan, salad you just maybe potatoes This is why we can't have nice things. This is why we told you to sit outside when we got food. Okay? (laughs) Alright? Now you know the reason. Valid reason. No shit! No (laughs) shit, it's a valid reason! I don't want you going up to Tim Horton's fucking register and being like, Oh man, what would go good with human innards? Oh, maybe a nice salad. And you're just, they're just fucking like, what? Huh? What? And I'm just like, oh, just, just excuse them. I'll, I'll have a, I'll have a medium tea. I think I should call the police. No, 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 it's fine. I'll have a tea. He, he can go outside. No, I'm calling the police. I'm like, shit. But anyways, we're gonna discuss why Ryan needs therapy in the next session of Good Game Time.